Number one says a population of 1,500 insects grows exponentially by a factor of three every week. Select all equations that represent or approximate the population P as a function of time in days since the population was 1,500. So we see that it increases by a factor of three, and that's every week. And we start with 1,500. Then they want us to come up with the equations in days. So remember that one week equals seven days. So that means that one seventh of a week equals one day. So we're gonna have to account for that in our exponent. So we should have the initial amount times the growth factor of three. And then for days, that'll be one seventh of a growth factor. So one seventh of a week. So then we can look here. So A is not gonna work because that's weekly. B will be good because that's gonna be our time divided by seven. C is not gonna work because our variable is not in the exponent and our exponent is a seven. Um, and then D will be good because this will have, whoops, this will have our growth factor for one day and then to the T power. So this one would be good. Number two, the tuition at a public institution was $21,000 between 2000 or in 2008, then between 2008 and 2010, which is two years, um, the tuition had increased by 15%. Since then, it has continued to grow exponentially. Select all statements that describe the growth um, in the tuition cost. So the tuition cost can be defined by a function of 21,000 times 1.15 to the year divided by two, where the years, um, where it represents the years since 2008. So this one will be good because we have the initial amount. We've got the growth factor since it's growing 15%. That means the growth factor is really 115%, which is 1.15. Um, and then they account for the fact that this was in two years in the exponent. So this will be good. B says the tuition cost increased 7.5% each year. So let's check this out. Probably not because we don't just divide the increase by the number of years. So you need to take the growth factor and we're going to do this growth factor to the one half since this is since this is 1.15 for two years, we want to do half of that. So if you type in 1.15 to the one half power in your calculator, you get 1.072. So then this um, part is going to be how much it grew. So 0.072 equals 7.2%. So that's actually C, not B. Um, then this says the tuition roughly doubles in 10 years. So we can take um, this 1.15 and check this out. So remember, this is every two years. So how many times um, will it grow in 10 years? So that's going to be five times. So this will be five. Um, you can also think about doing it as 10 divided by two, right? So 10 is five different times that so we'll get two years in there. So 1.15 to the fifth is approximately 1.967 and so yes that growth factor is about two times okay so roughly not exactly but roughly doubles and then the tuition cost can be approximated by this function where d represents decades so now they just did a growth factor of two which is what we just looked at is every decade it about doubles so they just put this growth factor of two in per decade. So this one would be um, true as well. Number three, this graph represents um, the function g of x equals a times b to the x. Find the values of a and b. So we see that we have um, at zero, this is at 10. And then at 1.5, this is at 1.25. So let's look at the growth factor here. 
So the growth factor is going to be this new amount, 1.25 divided by 10. So our growth factor here is 0 0.125. And this is for every one and a half years. So now when we look at this um, generic function here, it wants us to tell A, which is the initial amount, then B as the growth factor to just the X power. So we need our change to be every one time period, not every one and a half. So we know um, our initial value already, okay? So the initial value is just with this zero. So our A is equal to 10. So that one's pretty easy. Then we need to figure out this um, growth factor here. So we know that the growth factor is 0.125 every one and a half time periods. So in order to account for this, we would want to um, bring this to a power of one divided by 1.5 so that we can just figure out what it is for one time period. Um, and when you do this, so when you type this into your calculator, you get a growth factor of 0.25 for every one growth period or every one um, time period, whatever it's being measured in. And so then your this would be your B value. So you can do it as the decimal of 0.25, or you could say that it's one fourth, but your initial value is 10. Your growth factor is 0.25. Number four, the number of fish on a lake is growing exponentially. The table shows the values in thousands after different numbers of years since it was first measured, by what factor does the population grow every two years? Okay, so this one's labeled. So here's two years. Here's the population increase. So we can just take the new population divided by the original, and we get that that um, growth factor happens. Ev um, that growth factor is four. So now it's growing by four every two years. So now it's asking us to fill in the table. So now in two more years, we could multiply this by four and get 160. And then in two more years, we could multiply this by four um, and get 640. So now in the next part, it asks us what, what, by what factor does the population grow every one year? So now we're gonna take the two year growth factor Okay, and instead of having it every two years, we want every one year, so one out of two years. So we'll do four to the one half power, which is really the same as the square root of four. So this is giving us a growth factor of two every one year. So now we can complete the table with this. So now every one year we're multiplying by two. So 10 times two would be 20, 20 times two would be 40, 40 times two would be 80, times two is 160, times two is 320, times two is 640. Number five, the value of a home increased by 7% each year. Explain why the value of the home doubles approximately once every decade. And remember a decade, so one decade is equal to 10 years. So this will have increased um, by a factor of, well, will increase 7% 10 times. So we want to come up with the growth factor here. So this is the growth rate. So then our growth factor is equal to 107% or as a decimal 1.07. So now we're going to take this growth factor and bring this 10 times. So we're going to increase by 1.07 10 times. So 1.07 to the 10th is equal to 1.967, so approximately 2, so almost doubles. Number 6, here's a graph of this exponential function. The coordinates are... 1 fourth, 3, 1 half, 4.5, and then we want to find the coordinates of C, which is at 7 fourths, and then something. 
So what is the Y coordinate and explain how you know. So there's a few different ways we could do this, right? So we've got one fourth, our output is three. Then we've got one half, which our output is 4.5. So one fourth to one half, okay, that's just up by a fourth because one half is two fourths. So then we could think of this as going to three fourths, to four fourths, to five fourths, six fourths, and then seven fourths is ultimately where we want to get, right? So then you can look at what the um, growth factor is here so that you know what to keep going. So 4.5 divided by 3 um, gives you 1.5. So we're multiplying by 1.5 each time here to get up to this one, right? So then you can... Um, write an equation like you could just do that so you could just multiply by 1.5 that many times you can also just take a starting value okay so if i wanted to take this as my starting value so then i'm going to multiply 3 times the growth factor of 1.5 how many times so 1 2 3 4 5 6 times to get up to this one so if you wanted to just simplify your work a little bit and not have to type in times 1.5 times 1.5 times 1.5 all those times you could just do this um and then that would give you your output so 1.5 to the sixth and then times that by three and you'll get about 34.2 for this whichever way you do it